Hey everyone, I've had a lot of requests to do a sugar spin tutorial, so here it is. I hope you enjoy it! All polishes will be listed below. If you are new to sugar spin, I would suggest starting with one cream polish. Glitters and metallics thicken a little differently and are more difficult to work with. So until you get the technique down, definitely stick with one polish. Always pour out more polish than you think you'll need. In the long run, it'll be better for your sanity if you don't have to go back and wait another 15 minutes for your polish to thicken. Yeah, it's a waste of polish, but it'll be easier in the long run. You will need one toothpick per color to stir out any air bubbles while the polish thickens. These air bubbles pop after application to the nail and flatten out the design of the sugar spin. I go through every couple of minutes just to check of the thickness and consistency of the polish. Finding the right consistency will take a little trial and error, but I do suggest starting application to the nail around 30 seconds before you reach the desired thickness. This will allow you a little bit of extra time after cleanup to fill in any spare spots. I used Wet n Wild Black Cream as my base. There is no way around this. Sugar spin is one of the messier techniques. You'll see me stamp my finger right into the polish multiple times. Start out nice and slow with thinner strands. It is easier to go in and add more polish than it is to fix thicker strands and clean up. If you have seen my other sugar spins, you know I prefer a thicker line over the thinner ones. I think it looks a little bit more uniform and it looks a little straighter on the nail. In order to do this, I like to take a nice thick strand, bring it over, anchor it to the side of my finger, and bring it back. If I'm lucky, I get a thick enough strand that I can do multiple lines. Then I go back in with thinner ones and fill in any bare spots. This will take some practice, but you will get the hang of it very quickly. strands are too thin for you, you can always go back over them and thicken them out. But instead of taking the toothpick straight across the nail, you'll want to actually bring it up towards at an angle. This is also how you'll do a halfway sugar spin, just like I'm doing here. You're going to want to bring it across and then up, and the strand will end on its own. Now if you get too thick a strand on the halfway, just bring it back over to the same side and bring it up. I got such a nice strand with this one and was able to fill up nearly the entire nail. And I just went back in and filled in any spare spots. And I was really surprised and happy with how well this, this silver spun. Now we're getting into cleanup. I remove any excess polish from the dirty side of the toothpick and I'm removing the excess polish and creating crisper lines. I personally don't like borders around my nails and I like the lines to go from one end to the other. I also use this to remove any excess polish from two thick strands. Actual spinning doesn't take that long, but if you're looking for a nice crisp sugar spin, it's all about the cleanup. It can take you anywhere from 30 minutes to 45, and, and depending on how picky you're being about the look. I have some polish left over, so I'm just going in and filling in any thin spots. going to dress up the sugar spin with a little bit of glitter. I use the same dirty toothpick from before to apply the glitter. You 
want to go in very gently because the sugar spin is still drying and it is very easy to dent it with the toothpick. You could wait until the sugar spin is dry, but then you are going to see the clumps of glitter on top and the polishes won't dry together. heavy-handed, you can scrape some of that glitter off, but be careful about nicking the polish. It's cleanup time, the most important part of the sugar spin. You're going to need a paper towel, your regular cleanup brush, and the other side of the toothpicks you used. I've already gone through with the cotton swab and taken off as much of the excess polish as possible. And now I'm just doing a basic cleanup with my cleanup brush. As you remove polish from the sides of your nails, push down and straight to the sides. You don't want to go back and forth from cuticle to tip because it will move the ends of the strands back and forth and you'll lose the crisp lines you created with the toothpick. clean end of your toothpick and go through and clean up any lines that might have gotten blurred with the cleanup brush. As you can see, I'm still pushing down into the nail. And sometimes I put my toothpick into acetone just to make this a little easier. You know the one thing I always forget? It's to clean up the edges of my base color. You would think I'd remember to do it during sugar spin cleanup but I'm so focused on maintaining the crisp lines that I forget, and I don't notice until I'm taking photos way afterwards. As you can see here, I'm still pushing the polish into my finger. This helps anchor the strands so that they don't go moving around back and forth. This will also take a little bit of practice, but don't worry, it's easy enough to master. Now, if there are larger chunks of polish you want to get rid of, just use your cleanup brush. It's the fastest, but not the most exact way. And don't worry about all that extra polish on your fingers, we're going to take care of that really soon. Now for the fun part, we're going to use a pond towelette to get all of that excess polish off of the fingers. No matter what polish I use, I always get it everywhere, and a towelette dampened nail polish remover removes it all. I hope you found this tutorial comprehensive and informative. If you liked the video, please subscribe and thumbs up. See you next time. Bye!